Well, these days, more and more people are becoming cord cutters, meaning they don't have cable or satellite TV. Instead, they use streaming services. But a new JD Power survey finds those cord cutters have the lowest level of viewing satisfaction. People who have never subscribed to cable TV are slightly more satisfied, but the highest rating goes to cord stackers, people who have both cable and streaming services. So, are you guys cord cutters? I know you have Netflix, Matt. I think I was. I think I'm a cord shaver. You're a shaver. I I've reduced some of my options, mm -hmm. but I still have both streaming and some pay cable. Yeah. I think it makes sense that people that have both, they have the most choice. Of, of course. course. They're, yeah. they're I've got all the things. They're spending a couple hundred bucks probably on all this stuff, and they're not too worried about that. Yeah, sure they're happy. I was a cord cutter. You've dabbled in everything. I, I have. For years, we had no cable when I was working here at night because I was like, well, when am I going to watch this? Anyway, I'm here. And my wife didn't care, so we got rid of it. But we miss live sports. We love the Twins. We love uh, the Wild and the Timberwolves and the Lynx. And then not having that uh, was, became an issue with my children, well, especially. Sure. <laughs> my youngest, who was a huge sports fan. And so we got it back. And it's definitely a lot easier to just plug in a satellite box or a cable mm -hmm. box turn on your TV and go. Mm -hmm. If you have antenna, sometimes it's like, all right, I'm gonna stick, I gotta move the thing. <laughs> well, and how I, am I is it do? working? Right. I think that's the mistake people make, is when they cut the cord, they think it's just changing from one service to another. No, you're making a sacrifice. Yeah. You're gonna have to give some stuff up and you have to be prepared to accept it. I will say the HD signal of CCO looks really great Over the just air? on antenna. Well, we like yeah. the sound of that. Yeah. I like that. It looks good. I got Netflix and I, I haven't even uh, used it once and I've been paying for it for about four months now, so it will be mm -hmm. getting snipped here pretty quick. Isn't this funny? This research kind of goes in the other direction of this idea that people are always so dissatisfied. When you look at consumer satisfaction ratings mm -hmm. of cable mm -hmm. and satellite, frankly, they're always terrible. And I think it's just because people don't want to pay for it. It's there are not many products out there that you get a bill every month for. Or I was going to say, if you've ever called customer service for DirecTV, sometimes you're on the phone for a while. Oh. So that, that can't be good either. Maybe, maybe <laughs> so. All right.